Hi, Rich Hilsinger, host of Mastering Skills with the Wooden Boat School. Here with you with an, another episode. And today we're real lucky to be here at Chase Small Craft with the man himself, Clint Chase. Clint, thanks for having us. It's great to have you guys. Yeah. Clint is an accomplished boat builder, designer, and boat building instructor. And uh, the reason we're here today is Clint's going to show us the ins and outs, so to speak, of hollow bird's mouth spar mm -hmm. making. Yep. So a few considerations with the staves. You may notice it moves a little bit as you rip it. This piece has a very gentle curve to it. That's okay. Again, the staves are all gonna bring themselves together in the bird's mouth format and straighten themselves out. Plus we'll have a jig set up to make sure it's straight. So that's another advantage of bird's mouth is again, we can deal with some of these um, imperfections in the wood. And so now I can see very nicely the wood that has to come off. So again, we're gonna take out the power plane. We're gonna take a lot of wood away up here, diminishing as we go up here to about the partner. So I'm gonna take the square and go back to my reference staves. And I'm gonna to go to the stations and I'm gonna square those lines across. They're sitting right there. The station markings are sitting right there on the reference staves. So we've got some nice lines to plane to here. Um, I've got our V-blocks clamped down. The, the mass can rotate nicely. And I've got my favorite block plane adjusted and ready to go. So now it's time to start taking these corners off down to the lines from the 16 siding gauge. And I like to work kind of rotisserie method where I rotate and plane three swipes or so on each corner 